Humbrol enamel paints have been found on modellers' workbenches across the country for almost as long as there have been models to build. Enjoyed because of their availability, varied range, consistency and low price, many modellers grew up on these products and used them as their go-to paints. And whether you loved or hated them, no one could argue. They were always there. Until, that is, they weren't. March 2022 and the modelling community went into a bit of a frenzy, with shops removing their tins of enamel from the shelves and rumours of the brand's discontinuation of the paints spread like wildfire. Some had an idea of what had happened, but many simply feared that this was the end of the line for their beloved range of paints, with some even panic buying what stocks they could find left in the shops. But the rumour remained. Humbrol enamel paint was gone forever. Hello everyone, Matt from Model Minutes here, and today I'd like you to join me as I shed a little light on this rumour and hopefully present some hard information about what is actually going on with these paints. So, first up, a little truth behind what's been going on. In March 2022, it was no longer legal to sell paint products which contained more than 0.1% of methyl ethyl ketoxim, otherwise known as MECO. This is a paint additive which helps prevent a skin from forming on the paint, but it was reclassified as a class 1b carcinogen and naturally, in the interests of public safety, it was banned. So that's fair enough, and in line with this, Humble Paints and a few other model paint ranges were removed from sale to comply. But does that mean that's it for the enamel range? Well, I think the best thing to do is actually let Humbrol answer this one. I recently went to the Hornby HQ for an opportunity to spend some time with the Airfix and Humbrol teams, and in that event I raised this question. This is Jamie. He's head of delivery for Humbrol, and I think it's worth hearing what he has to say. There's a lot of misinformation and rumours about the in, in, uh, enamel range out there. Um, I also I emailed you about it and said, yes. I've heard from a lot of people in a lot of comments and a lot of forums and places saying, enamel paint from Humbrol is gone. No, no it's not. Um, so, so as I said right at the beginning, there, there was some CLP and reach changes um, that caused the industry um, an issue um, with, with some of the compounds formulations within the animals. Um, we had a supply chain halt um, and then, then we restarted it and that's where we've done the, the range adjustment but enamels are still there. One of the things that um, makes it harder is the period of time they now give us to make the changes. Um, so a new piece, of, they start talking about it and then you've got to make the change within a, a certain period of time. Some of our shades and then the batches that you have to buy, the sell through is so long that you can't be reactive enough to, to make those changes uh, and that was part of the, the reduction in the range, but enamels are still here um, within the humble range. So to meet that sort of compliance, it's die down, get it back, yes. and then come back again. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there it is. Whilst Humbrol has been removed from sale for now, once the formula of the paints has been reworked, we should see them start appearing in the shops again in the future. So please, if you know anyone who was concerned that their favourite paints were long gone, please share this video with them so they may rest assured that this is not the end for Humbrol enamel paints. And with that I think it's time to end this video here. Thanks to my patrons and channel members on screen now for the extra support they give the channel. Check out the links in the description for some more information. Also please let me know in the comments down below what you think of the news about this paint range too. If you'd like to stay up to date, the red button and the bell icon will help you stay notified so you never miss a new video. And lastly, clicking that like button will help this video be shown to more people with a similar interest. All that's left to say is a massive thank you to you for watching this video, and I will see you on the workbench again next time.